How does the SSH protocol work? Let's try to understand that. An SSH server listens to a particular port. It usually uses port 22 to listen to incoming connections. When an SSH client wants to establish an SSH connection with the server, the client first initiates a TCP handshake. When the server gets a connection request from the client, the server sends the client the encryption protocols that it supports and the protocol versions. If the client also supports one of the protocols and versions, the communication continues. Now the server sends its public key to the client. The client can verify the public key with a certificate authority. When a client accesses a server for the first time, the client adds the server to the list of the known hosts file. Later, if the client connects with the same server again, the client can check the server's identity with the previously recorded information. Now, the server and the client go ahead and negotiate a session key. They can use algorithms like the Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm for that purpose. How does the Diffie-Hellman key exchange protocol work? Interested viewers can watch our previous video on the Diffie-Hellman key exchange protocol. The link is provided in the description. After the session key is derived, the server and the client can encrypt messages with the derived session key. Now, the next step for the server is to authenticate the client. Different methods of authentication can be used for this purpose. For example, in a password based authentication, a user can provide his password and the password can be encrypted and sent to the server. The server and the client can also use SSH key pair for authentication. Once the authentication is successful, the server and the client can exchange encrypted messages that are encrypted with the derived session key. I hope this helps. Interested viewers who want to know more can visit the website of the security body. The relevant links are provided in the description. You can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos.